In this video, I'm going to show how you can play videos that users upload to your Bubble app. You can see here we have a file uploader. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say every time something is uploaded to that, so when file uploader A's value is changed, I'm going to create a new data type called video. We're going to give this two custom fields. The first one is file, and it's going to be file type file. And then the second one is going to be title, and that's going to be a text field. So then we're going to say whenever something is uploaded to that file uploader, we're going to create a new thing. The new thing is going to be a video. And the two fields, file is going to be this file uploader's value. And then title is going to be this file uploader's values file name. So let's upload the video. I have a bunch of tutorial videos here, so let's just upload the shortest one. It's going to take just a bit of time for this to upload, so I'm going to fast forward through this. Okay, so that video has now been uploaded. And if we take a look at our database, we're going to see it visible in two places. The first place is in the file manager here. If we refresh our editor, we should see that pop up. And you can see there the file name and the size of it. And if we go into our actual app data section, and look at videos again we'll see the file there and we'll see the title now the issue is we can't really play this with the native bubble video element so if we grab that and we just drop it on the screen here you'll see here the only way we can play videos on this is if they come from youtube or if they come from vimeo so it's just not going to do it if we want to play something directly from our database but what we can do is if we delete that and we go to plugins and we install this plugin here, the Universal Video Player plugin. You can find it by searching for Universal Video Player. This will allow us to play videos directly from our database. It'll also allow us to do a whole bunch of other things. There's really extensive instructions and a demo app that you can check out. But for our purposes today, we're just going to delete that for a second and then let's drop this on the screen. You can see here, once we have the plugin installed, we get this media player element. First thing you need to do is pick a skin, which is essentially the style of the video. I'm just going to go with base for now. And then to choose the video we want to play, what we can do in a few ways. The way I'm going to do it, first of all, is by going to this dynamic link field here. I'm going to insert dynamic data. Then I'm going to do a search for videos. I'm simply going to get the first item and its file. You could add in constraints if you had different fields on your video, but that's how we're going to look at it now so let's refresh our page and you can see here it's going to turn that volume down but you can see here that the video is playing straight away another way we could do it is we could select from the drop down here so what we could do is we could change the choices in our drop down to be dynamic we could make the type of choices to be video and we could simply do a search for all videos and then we could set the option caption as the current options title. And what I'm also going to do is, you might have seen last time, this started playing automatically. Instead of letting it play automatically, I'm going to go down here to autoplay and turn that to false. So, and then if we go back and we change the source of this rather than being from directly from our database, instead we're going to say insert dynamic data, drop down A's value and then it's file at the end of that. So let's refresh our app. And again, there's nothing in here at the moment, but again, if we want to choose a video to play here, what we can do is we can choose it from the dropdown and you'll see it pop up in the video player. Then we can click play and there's a whole other bunch of ways we can customize it. But that's it, this is a really quick tip. If you have any questions on how to use a video player further, do let me know in the comment section.